your jaw, put food in your stomach. A lot of it's times, we shake out things that God, and we'll make you God just pray for us and pray for us. We'll make God as well. My God is a loving God. I can live the way I want. I can have three miles of sex. I can get drunk. I can steal. I can lie. I can cheat on my taxes. Because God is a loving God. Oh, that's the biggest tragedy you'll make. The Bible says the beginning of wisdom is fear of the Lord. The beginning of wisdom is fear of the Lord. The Bible says the eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping a watch over evil and good. My friends, God is watching you. He's holy, righteous, and just. God must deal with sin. He's not winking at sin. Just as you go before a civil court judge, you broke the law, you'll have to pay a fine. Same thing with the God of the universe. If you lied, God would see you as a liar. If you stole something, God would always see you as a thief. The third commandment, thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. All you gotta do is walk up and down and somebody's taking God's name in vain. Imagine if they took your mother and father's name in vain. You'd be angry. The Bible says the God of the universe who gives you air into your lungs. You take his name, you'll be held accountable on judgment day. Because God is holy, righteous, and just. The Bible says in Hebrews 10.30, it's a terrifying thing so to fall in the hands of a living God. God. It's a terrifying fire, thing. man. Psalm chapter 11. The Bible says God is a just God. Yes, He is. He's angry with the wicked every yes, single day. Holy, holy is the Lord. God almighty. Oh, man, Isaiah 6. Amen. Praise Woo. the Lord. We're all going to die and stand before a holy oh, God. God. Everything you've done right. in the dark will be shown in the light Woo. on judgment day. Everything you've done. That's right. My friends, God must deal with sin. He's a righteous judge. You can't wink at your sin. Hello, you get one? The Bible says that he'll make, he'll make them as a blazing oven at the time of his anger. The Lord will swallow them up with his wrath. He must deal with sin. But the good news is, the Bible says in Isaiah 53, it please God to crush his son, Jesus Christ. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It please God to crush his son because God must deal with sin. Jesus was without sin. He was perfect. He was that willing sacrificial lamb Amen. that can only quench the wrath of God yes. for our sin is Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus says, I am the way, That's the right. truth, the light. Amen. No one will come to the Father except through Jesus Amen. Christ. That's Isaiah right. the prophet, he said, Mom, I'm undone. My lips are unclean. I'm standing before the throne of God. Oh, my friends, we're in big trouble on Judgment Day without the blood of Jesus Christ. Either Jesus paid for our sins and we'll have to pay for our sins in hell. Ooh. My prayer is you repent and surrender your life to Jesus Christ today. That's why Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, the life. Amen, no brother. No one will come to the Father Amen. except through Jesus Christ. In Acts 4.12 it says, nor is there salvation in any other. There's no name under heaven. Praise be God. Amongst men, you must be saved. Going to Mecca will not pay for your sins. Praying will not pay for your sins. Fasting will not pay for your sins. That's right. The Bible says our works are like filthy rags before a holy, righteous God. That's right. It's like going up before a judge and say, yeah, judge, I broke the law, but I gave some money to Salvation Army. If the judge is righteous, he's going to say, you broke the law, you'll pay the fine. Same thing with the God of the universe. That's why Jesus Christ was without sin. He knew no sin. He's the only one that That's could willingly right. lay his life down and take the wrath of God for our sins. My friends, I come out here and love to warn you that God is holy, righteous, and just. Amen. The only one that can pay for your sins is the only one who came out of the grave on the third day. Amen, bro. Amen. Amen. He's the only one. That's right. The Bible says it's a terrifying thing to form. My friends, God is watching you. Amen. And you're storing the wrath of Judgment Day. That's this right. world is your penitentiary. You're waiting Ooh. for judgment. Speak but the good news, Jesus holds the keys. Yes. The everlasting life. Amen. My friends, That's right. now is the day of salvation. That's right. That's right. My question is, how will you escape the oh, wrath of God Speak as you reflect such a great salvation in Jesus Christ? How will you do it on that day? Repent, surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Without guaranteeing tomorrow, come out here and love.